hey, I've got a fun game we can play. One of these two, you can see this line here, right? One of these two is an original board uh, that was a cutoff from the Menards deck, and one of these is actually on the deck and has been in the sun for the last two years. Can you guess which one's which? Can you see any difference maybe in the color or anything like that? I don't know if I can. I'm not sure. Alright, so... There you go. This is the cutoff piece that's been stored in my uh, garage. Complete with the original mud and dirt from uh, when it was thrown down after being cut off. I cleaned up this part right here by just pushing, putting some water on it and going like that with my hand. I did the same here with this board, which is the original deck. So, to give you an idea, that is where we were. The, uh, the sun, that's the south. So, typically, this from about here back is in shade almost all throughout the day, except for the very early morning. And this pretty much gets sun all the time. So yeah, I, I would say that the Menards Ultra Deck is holding up rather well. All in all, happy with the deck and how it turned out. Um, but let's put in a tree over there, I think. I think that'll make it better. <sighs> Sitting back, enjoying your porch random camera equipment. At any rate, so I was sitting here the other night and I planted a pagoda dogwood here and there's another one right over there. And I did that about three years ago. They were maybe this tall. They've, uh, they've shot up a fair bit. Now this is sort of a, a tree slash shrub. It's kind of a glorified shrub. And I saw roughly what it was covering as of right now and I got to thinking, I was like, you know it would be nice? Covering up these power lines and that telephone pole. So the other wedge part of the deck, uh, or the chamfer part, as you can see here, is right on the other side of this. So, if I plant that pagoda dogwood right over there, you can just see it, right there, then as it grows up, it sh they usually don't grow too tall, uh, so I'm thinking maybe I can block out most of that view. And I can trim it to be equal um, with the deck, so it'll maybe kind of wrap, like kind of, I don't know, like a semicircle, so to speak. Like you can kind of see here that I have trimmed it such that the branches don't really come into this space, but they do go this way, and up, and in, and around. So, what I should have done was not trim anything down below. Not yet. I mean, I guess I was, I didn't, I, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'd like, I'd like, you know, for this to kind of turn into a, a semi-wall. Um, and if it, and if as it grows up, it sort of starts intermingling and going this way, I'd be fine with that. Uh, but we're going to essentially, one, we need to plant this again and put some wood chips. It's just, just kind of dirt. But over here, I'd like to place the second pagoda dogwood right there where that hole is. So it'll be about six inches in this way and about six inches in from this part of the deck is what I'm thinking and that should leave a good oh two foot on center for that to grow and because none of my footings actually go into the ground they just ride on top of the ground I don't think that thing's gonna have a large enough root system ever to really do anything uh, to the deck or to this paver patio because unlike this tree these things tend to be glorified shrubs. So there may be a day though that I
10, 15 years from now when I will rule placing this here. But in the meantime, I'll enjoy the flowers and I'll enjoy blocking off that telephone pole, I think. So let's get started. that after it grows up a little bit I think that's gonna be pretty much perfectly placed to start covering up uh, that utility pole there it's gonna have some stunted growth but all in all I, I think it'll be a nice addition that and it helps even out makes it a little more symmetric because uh, it's nice having a tree on that side and on that side 